Hi everyone. How are you doing? I hope all is good with you. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I'll just very briefly introduce myself if that's okay. <laughs> so my name is Ailey. Huge big welcome to the channel. It is a let's play channel. It is very casual. I just like to have fun with it. Yeah, so hopefully that's what you're into. This is an incredibly special and exciting new let's play series for me. It is my favourite game. I've played the game four times. I'm never quite sure if that's something that's impressive and I should be telling people about or it is really sad and I should be definitely keeping it to myself. <laughs> but if you ask me, too much of this game is just never enough. So yes, it is the incredible, wonderful, amazing masterpiece that is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. I am so fucking excited for this. <laughs> I've been waiting to play it on the channel for months. Months and months and months. Um, and we're finally doing it. I can't even properly describe just how much this game means to me. I love it so much. It has got me through some really tough times in life over the past six years. So I'm really hoping that that passion and enthusiasm can be gauged through the screen and it's something that you're really going to find enjoyable. It's also really nice to be playing a game that I'm actually familiar with for a change. <laughs> the majority of the games that I've played on this channel have been my first playthroughs of the game. So yeah, I feel like this game is just such a comfort blanket for me. Oh, and it's just so great. I just love it so much. Thank you so much for taking the time to come on this journey with me. It's going to be full of fun, laughter, sadness, uh, excellent storytelling, amazing characters, bad bastards, <laughs> etc. Um, yay! I'm going to enjoy every single minute and I hope you do too. We're going to have so much fun together. I just really hope that I do it justice for you. I really do. All right, so without further ado, let's begin The Witcher 3. Okay, so what comes next is a really cool sequence um, that I'm going to just disappear for so you can fully immerse yourself and enjoy it, etc. <laughs> without my big face in the corner. So... I'll peace out for now and then I'll be back very shortly. Oh, also, do you, do you like my Witcher medallion? It's cool, right? I never really have an excuse to wear it as you can imagine, so <laughs> I just thought, fuck it, I'll wear it for this playthrough, proudly. Um, okay, let's do it.
Oh, hey. It's me again. Do you come here often? I hope so. Here being my channel. <laughs> There's that famous- Oh! That famous scene. He's gonna get his balls nipped. <laughs> He reacted fairly calmly, considering what just happened there. I've always you know I don't find that wondered. amusing. <laughs> it wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. I love how she's just casually sitting there in the scud reading the book. <laughs> Why not, right? Oh, damn, girl! I love this song. Oh. There's a lot of nudity in this game, in case you weren't aware. Okay! Yay! This still gets me back! Uh, right, so I've turned the tutorials off because I kind of know what I'm doing if I do see so myself. <laughs> Even though it's been... Uh, I was checking, the last time I played this was January... 2020 which was almost two years ago and I just can't believe it's been that long ago because it goes to show that time has just flown by since this bloody pandemic um yeah but I think I still remember most things famous last words <laughs> see I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer it's uninstructive oh. not to mention unreasonable want to stay with you a little longer let's be unreasonable also just want to say as well while we're at the start and I'm just going through everything um I will be cutting out all the shagging I hope that doesn't disappoint anybody <laughs> too much but if you want to watch said shagging I recommend you get the game because there's lots of it um <laughs> the reason for that is that I think it's just a bit you know it, it goes against a lot of what YouTube allows for one um if I left the said shagging in the video. So yeah. Alright, um let's be unreasonable. I don't wanna be reasonable. Aha, uh -huh. so that's the way the wind blows. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women <laughs> I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's if it only matter? you knew, Yen. If only you knew. Of you. Power merchant. <laughs> okay. So. Also worth noting as well, if you are not familiar with my playstyle, um, I am very much into looting everything I can see. Uh, <laughs> I like to explore everything. Although I have been losing my touch lately, I've been kind of missing things and um, but yeah, I'm very much a long play kind of person. I like to not leave any stone untouched on a map, basically. Or try to. Um, wow! 
Mountain pass is beautiful as ever. Look at that, stunning. Oh. Even after all these years, it still looks so great. And then on the next gen consoles, it will be even more gorgeous. I don't have a, a next gen console, I'm afraid. I just have your standard Xbox One, which I still love with all my heart. <laughs> oh, fuck, I need a key. Oopsie. Let's examine. Ah, easy as that. Right. Let's go and see Sari. I love Sari. She's my favourite. Old witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. She prefers Your practice chance. to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. After taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls, wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her <laughs> slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. Hogwash. He's tackling the pendulums, right? Indeed. How many times do I have to tell you? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. If she wants to practice, she'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her or we've spoiled her. Yeah, it can't get mad at Sari, man. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Okay. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike. I don't know, I think she's doing pretty well, considering she's blindfolded. <laughs> You're not in this circus, pirouette. Wrong. Footwork. Enough. Get down. With a flip? What do you think? Parkour. All right. Take off the blindfold. You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any Striga. Disobeying his instructions? <laughs> unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. Horribly I dull? Know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Uh, apologies not enough, or better not. Better not. I'm Better such a not. soft touch when it comes to Sari. said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. Or maybe I am in general. Yeah. a soft touch. Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on. We'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Um, I'll do this for the benefit of people who have not played the game. So it's not very long. I'll just... Of course. Of course. It's a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? 
Maybe if you fall. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. What did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. Siri, cut it out. Oh, wait, where am I going now? <laughs> I'm lost. Ah. Oh fuck, did I go there? <laughs> I went the wrong way. Oh no. Oh bastard. <laughs> That's what I get for being so cocky. Right? Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, so I'm a little bit... It has been a while since I've played the game. Uh, so it might be a wee bit rusty for the first couple of episodes, but I'm sure I'll get back, I'll get used to it again. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> I win. Hardly. <laughs> yeah, my brain just needs to grow a bit. How did I get so lost there? <laughs> oh well. Some things never change. I always get lost. Lambert, Lambert, what a prick. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Gazimir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Hmm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if- But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. <laughs> okay, you won't waste a lot of this, or you could have said you did the exercise while Vesemir was asleep. Uh, yeah. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, <laughs> you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Uh, free training, I think. Let's skip straight to free training. No point going over the basics again. Ha! Whoa! <laughs> you really showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. A little she-devil. As oh, soon as harsh. she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Kaer Morhen. Find that helmet? Oh. Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Oh, 
I'm gonna look at this and hear what wolf. It's okay, it was just a dream. Samaria, Road to Vizima, May 1272. to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. I dreamt of Cure Morin. I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah. Started in the guest room at Cure Morin. I was relaxing in the tub and next to me... Tris. Jen. Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? Mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. We will. Not worried about that. I know we will. That's not what worries me. You've seen her tracks. She's at full gallop all the time. Breakneck speed through wildlands, devastated battlefields. She's in a hurry to get somewhere. Or fleeing something. Either way... It means trouble of some sort. Be surprised if she wasn't in trouble. She's always poked her nose in beehives. Courtly intrigues here, mages' conspiracies there. What do you expect? Don't know. Guess I thought once we were finally reunited, things would be calm. At least for a while. Calm? With Yennefer? <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Vesemir can be so harsh. <laughs> Then we train with Siri. In the dream, I went and found Siri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The wild hunt appeared, attacked Siri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Sorry, my dreams, it make me she's in danger. Yeah. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Siri would appear in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. All right, time to go. Be downing soon. Time to go. Wait. Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh. How about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. They <laughs> must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private, or the stuff unicorn we use is a bad ones. Um, should we share that with old Vesemir? I think we should. Probably nothing shocks him, to be honest. <laughs> Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain situations. Shagging. Mm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads oh. towards the main road. That sunrise. Be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Mate. 
Ready, whip some ass. Next day, they just follow. Let's go before any more show up. Oh, look at that! So nice. I've always loved the sunsets and the sunrises in this game. I have so many screenshots over the years <laughs> of all the sunsets and whatnot. Uh, let's look for this letter from the end first. Uh, there we go. Dear friend. Forgive me for not asking about your health or how you've been these last years. Time is very short. I have important news. We must meet and soon. Ride to Willoughby near Vizima and don't spare the horses. While I do eagerly await our reunion, I won't be able to wait, eagerly or otherwise, very long. Your dear friend, Yennefer. P.S. I still have the unicorn. <laughs> right, so let's go on Roach. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no, because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No, really upset him too. War is not His exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Radovid's no pledge to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that. Hmm. Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Joiner's staying there. We going? Help me! Help! Oh, a Griffin. Bye, horse. Majestic big thing, isn't it? Imagine we had those in real life. There's griffins flying about the place. That'd be cool. Also terrifying. Good. Yeah. Come out. It's away with your horse, mate. Sorry. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. Spare me the details, you'd, Geralt. <laughs> you'd like a reward, I suppose. Uh, you don't owe us a thing. We could use a few crowns. Um, we kind of stumbled upon this guy, so we won't... Yeah, we'll just leave it, I think. Good you guy, Geralt. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also Lies. say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yeah, a woman. <laughs> How vague. Or why do you care? Uh, a woman. Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But there's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there. Besides, the inn keeps my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea, especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, mm. Beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. 
Let's go. I always tend to play, uh, when I do play this game, I always choose the good options. I never really... I don't know what it is. I can't bear the thought of my Geralt being a bad guy or like... You know what I mean? It's always good guy Geralt. And I don't really feel like playing any differently this time round, but <laughs> we'll see how it pans out. I know that's very boring if I'm picking the same choices all the time, but I just, I don't know, I just, I like girl being good. I think it's more natural and more akin to his character, I guess. So, the griffin was close to the village. Yeah. Strange. Oh no! God damn it, Roach. Near the main road. Shit! I'm upset the guards! Why? It's the war. What did I do? Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Those monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn it. Oh. <laughs> Slow now. Whoa. <laughs> Just straight up ran over a kid with my horse. Run, Roach. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, man. Sword whose head back on? Excuse me. Rude. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. Regen. My arse it is. It is yours? Is it? I'll not drink with Weevil Arse Freaks. Weevil Arse Freaks. Weevil Arse Freaks. Strange Beg expression. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just pass through. Now a griffin's prowling about. Yeah, we saw. <laughs> Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master Witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Oh, thank you kindly. Um, she gave us four roast chicken legs. Um, pretty busy place. Pretty busy place you got. Nations on the move. Some search for kin, others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest and warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. Is there a contract on the griffin? There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now the alderman don't use the privy without asking the black one's permission first. And soon as they hanged the lord. Oh. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for what free. What is that horse doing? <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> uh, looking for a woman. Or right, show me what you got. Show me what you got. Looking for a woman, <laughs> raven haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white, riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. 
folks from all over might be worth your while to ask after all. Mm -hmm. I will do that. Thank you very much. Thanks for everything. There's old Gunter in the corner there. Let's go speak to him. Help you bandage that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. You hear? Black one's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. <sighs> Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Why are they marking out them lines, eh? Passing out their patrimony. Give it to their own. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Been on the path for half a year now. Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan. May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. Damn. <laughs> Alright, see ya. See you later, Vesemir. Let's chat to these dudes. Peasant and peasant. Two peasants. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Hostile. Uh, just want to talk, talk now, Axie, or a waste of words. Um, we'll start with. I just want to talk. Let's see just want to talk. You deaf stray. No one here will talk to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit eater, Micah. <laughs> Answer my question. No. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. That's him tell. All right, who else can we bother? That annoy. For what? Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own face cards. There are also special cards. Wouldn't you rather play war? It's like to be near dawn before you get your game in the noggin. So this is Gwen here. Um, and I was thinking about this over the past few weeks, whether I'm going to include Gwen or not. Gwen's its own little thing, really. Um, and I feel like it's just adding extra time onto the videos that I could otherwise just cut out, you know? If anybody wants me to include Gwen, I will. Um, but I'm not very good at it. It's never something that I've really been that interested in. I've always sucked at it, <laughs> um, but I'm willing to, to try again, um, so we'll see. Please let me know your opinions or what you would like in that regard, because I'd be happy to play it and show it in the video, but I just feel it might make the videos longer than they have to be, and they are already going to be long-ass videos, <laughs> so, um, aye. We'll speak to these guys first. But. What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. <laughs> Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What do you mean? Horsewoman of war? What's that about? 
Folk say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. <laughs> Where they saw her? No, facts interest me, not fairy tales. It's more factual than you think, man. Why are you here? Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand uh. it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Go back to your books while you still can, or write about the war, what it's really like. Um, it sounds like this dude has zero experience <laughs> fighting in a war. Um, He's an academic, so I think like encouraging him to go to the war would be a bad idea. But I do admire his bravery and his reasons, and he's trying to, like he says, I want to see the invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it in my chronicle. But on the other hand, I'm just like, man, you're just going to straight up die immediately. Unless you're very lucky. Um, so I think go back to your books while you still can is a better option here. <laughs> Take my advice. Go back to your yeah. books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend. No tenure to gain. End notes to compile. First soldier you see will kill you. Why would mm -hmm. you do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. Did the war make it to Novigrad yet? War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Okay. Fare thee well. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Okay, so I'm going to play this. Um, but I may just cut it out. Hmm. Well... It's not a game for everyone. Requires an analytical mind. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. I did play it there, but I was shit at it again. I lost, tragically. <laughs> so um, I'll probably just cut it out, to be honest, because it didn't really add anything to the experience. Right, let's talk to Gontru Odim. He's an interesting character. Looking for a woman. Uh, <laughs> like everyone. Not like everyone. <laughs> and not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. Schnap. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Uh, fine, no, let's get to the point. Uh, fine, let's have a drink. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Oh. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. Once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. Now, Guardian Lemon received. Uh, how do you know Yen? How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. You know who I am? Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. <laughs> Avoiding the question. Uh, who might you be? What do you do? Who are you? 
a mangy vagrant. Gaunt to Rodin, at your service. Vagrant? Got a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. Okay, so where is Shen? You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask, is this about love? Oh, uh, none of your business, or of course it's about love. Um, Gaunter, none of your business. None of your business? Yes. As a vagrant, I deserve no explanation. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. All right. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Perhaps, Gunter. Perhaps. Oh, he just disappeared. Uh, right, so. We spoke to everyone now then. So we just have to boost. Bye, Elsa. Thanks for the chicken legs. Oh. These twats. Done drinking. Mm hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want your kind here. Three against one. My, you're brave. Oh, yeah, we're definitely fighting these two bags. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind... Actually, no, not even then. Jet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Yep, one then. There's one with Oh, shit. <laughs> Fucking mess. I to surrender. Nice meeting you. Oh. <laughs> right, let's have a look around. See what we can. <laughs> These geese are so funny. Or geese, sorry. These geese. Right, let's go and ransack some houses. Ah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> right, what can we loot? Anything? Oh, yeah. I am mad for looting. I love looting <laughs> in this game, especially. There's something really satisfying about it. Oh, water. I also tend to stay away from picking up alcohol at all. I just totally avoid it because I used to accidentally drink it all the time. Oh, the rain's coming through the roof. It's not a very structurally sound. <laughs> Uh, roof is it if the rain's coming through? Listen to me as if I'm an expert. Something here. Oh! Nice. Black magic doll, we will not bother with that. <laughs> oh, hey man. Hey, nap. You having a nap? Nap. You look like you need a nap. Nap. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. 
Oh, who's this? Oh. Playful. Oh, this will cool the stuffy heat. Wait, this way. Anything I can steal. <laughs> Ergot seeds. Are Ergo? Ergo? Ergot? Nope. Okay. That is very convenient. So we should check out the notice board, I think. Are you in here? I lose my bearings so quickly. Which house I've been in and which house I haven't been in. Her health's actually a little bit low. Some scran. Oh, too soon. Also, I will be playing the DLC as well. I hope that is welcome news. Um, there's Blood and Wine and there's Hearts of Stone. And I know it'll be a, quite a while until we get to that part of the, the game, but I just wanted to make that known, just in case anyone was wondering. Um, Blood and Wine is just incredible. I can't wait to play it again. This is the pub here, right? Yeah. Oh, isn't cool, isn't that? The wench took down the wall. Anyone want to go and jump in pedals? <laughs> right. Notice board. Oh, isn't cool, isn't that? I wonder if the wench <laughs> took down the wash. The wench. <laughs> right, uh... Imperial Edict number 18 and 45. Let it hereby be known that, by order of His Imperial Majesty's High Command, all able bodied men of White Orchard must present themselves at the village inn, equipped with a shovel, hoe, or pickaxe of their own provision. The fields in the village are littered with corpses, and given the warm spring we're currently experiencing, the High Command fears the rotting bodies might bring contagion to the village. Oh. And the heat as well. Oh. Um, let this stand as proof to the residents of White Orchard that their new rulers care for their safety and shall defend them, not only from bandits but also from disease, by introducing measures which have long been standard in the civilised world. Any man refusing to comply with this order will be flogged <laughs> and put in the stocks. Alright. Deserter wanted. Last night a soldier fled from the army camp under cover of darkness. The wanted man, a recruit who recently volunteered to join his Imperial Majesty's service, goes by the name of Odrin. He claimed to be a Kidwenny by birth, but said King Hensolt's misrule had convinced him to join the Imperial Army. Oh. He was part of said institution for a mere two days, but managed to eat and drink enough in that time for an entire regiment of dragoons. <laughs> um... Anyone with information about this deserter's present location is to report to the garrison at once. There you go. Death to the invaders. <laughs> Hark, fair folk of the north. If you have a yearning for freedom, if you're prepared to take up arms to defend the motherland, head to the woods. By the souls of the dead buried at Brenna, to arms. Right. New order. Um, this Thursday. Good folk, you no longer live in a barbarous land where every man does as he sees fit. You are now part of the great empire of Nilfgaard. Nilfgaardian law now protects you, yet it also describes your new obligations. Imperial forces have brought you to the torch of enlightenment. Grab hold of it and your dark age shall soon give way to a bright new era. 
Okay, this looks like a quest. Brother missing. Basti and my brother went off to fight the Black Ones. I have reason to think he stood in the great battle nearby. He's not returned to this day. Oh, Like many others, you'll see, and you'll be in the right. But if he fell, and I know it's like he did, I'd give him up to the ground released, like our fathers have done always. I'd bury him beneath the barrow where our parents lie, not leave his corpse to be ate by the corpsers prowling the battleground. So I seek a man brave, able with a sword, and willing to venture out with me to find Bastion. I won't pay much, for I've not much to give, but I'm not stingy with gratitude and sure to show it a plenty. Look for a raised hut along the road to White Orchard. Ah, oh, okay. Ooh, a contract. Devil by the well. Good folk, I know there's a war on and every man's got trouble enough of his own, but perhaps there's one of you who can help a father in need. You all surely know the well in the ruined village and the devil that guards it with a jealous fury. And if you don't know, well, come and ask and I'll tell you about it. Whoever drives that monster away from the well will get a fat purse full of gold. Just don't tarry. Right. So we've now got a witcher contract, a side quest, and the main quest. Um, so time. Let's check out this little bit here. The houses are quite cozy, aren't they? <laughs> a very simplistic, uh, no windows and crappy roof kind of way. <laughs> Is there anything I can look? Anything? Yes. Dry fruit and nuts. Royal lineages of the north. Cirilla. What I'll do for these books and things as well is I will just put up like a two or three second clip where you can pause it if you want to read it at your own leisure. Um, and I'll fast forward it while I read it. And then if you get what I mean. Look at that. Something bloody. The handprint school. Oh. Intriguing. Oh, I've just noticed all the rabbits hanging. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, any more gaps? Willis? Yes. What are you talking about, Willis? What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly tonight, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. <laughs> what do you Weers. think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! God, there's your talking angry Scottish dude. <laughs> Um, don't insult me or I'm sorry. Yeah, he's obviously had a lot of shit happening to him, so I think we'll just let him off with... She's obviously feeling really angry. Um, I'm not going to take it personally. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. It'll be, yeah. Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. We only smith around so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out your plate, shoe horses. That's what I think. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a ploughing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. Oh. Now this. I can find your arsonist for a price, yeah. I can find your arsonist. Provided you're willing to pay. I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. 
The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks. I found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Nine lives, cat's eyes. Twisted fire starter. <laughs> Pumpkin instigator. Um, shall we do that one just now actually? So we're doing something kind of interesting. Because I am aware that I've just been fanning around. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's do this one. Right. So we're looking for clues about the arsonist. Oh, there we are. Shavings from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Oh. Getting too ahead of myself. Prince. A man's. Large. Stinks of piss oh. <laughs> and vodka. Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> uh... This away. One of the good things as well of me not playing this in a while is that I've kind of forgotten a lot of this, the quests. It's been that long since I played it, which is good, it keeps things fresh. <laughs> Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Oh. Got a lump of bread today. Good for you. I'm assuming he crossed the water. I'm going the right way, but... Mm. Yeah. I can't decide. Mm. Should we draw it or not? Could make soup out of something. But Tosley said he'd not give his dog his juice. Oh man, I'm stumped sure. a little bit here. Ow. Not so sure, who knows? Maybe under the bridge. Ah. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. He left his boots though. Lost his boots in the rush. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Tracks lead back to the village. Hello, the geese. <laughs> My grand told me about Smith's boy. Lad went missing one day, so folk nabbed a witch that was hunting Where does nearby. Uh... Started poking him, asking. But well, he started twisting and squirming, ah. so wham bam, they knocked his head off. Oh, Don't you so look at me? Wham bam. Drowner that had sat on the key. Which I had nothing to do with it. What did the folk do? Trail ends here. But I'll recognize him by his wounds. Oh, it's Nappy. The Napster. <laughs> Drowner claw marks. It's gotta be him. Oh, yeah. Cheeky thing. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa. Our arsonist's a charmer, too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some. But what's left is yours. No, don't 
brave me. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a uh, pulp! Come on then. Try me. Try me, peasant. I could use <laughs> the practice. Yeah. Definitely could, man. I'm not doing great at this. Fighting today. Oh, I can't see him! Can't see him. <laughs> I should have just actually the bastard, shouldn't I have? Oh no! There we go. <laughs> Man. Fighting skills. Ow! Ow! Ow. Oh, stop! Stop! I give up! Damn it! You broke my nose! But not your legs, so let's go see the smith. And take my advice. Don't try anything else. See, I think in my last playthroughs, I just axied him and said, calm down, whatever. So I must be changing, I must Here be coming more. Here you go. More. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Not You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Aye, hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No, Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found it. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Oh. I mean, they want the guy to hang. But. Harsh punishment, yeah. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know. I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil's still whole, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need Ooh. anything, let me know. Thanks, Give man. you a good price. I love that noise. Um, a return customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Uh. So long. Nothing. Nothing, just how. Right, so I think that would be a good place to end it. I know it wasn't very eventful, I suppose, but next time we'll continue on with the main quest. Um, and do some side quests as well. I feel it was nice just to do like a gentle ease in to the game, a little introduction. Uh, to me as well. Um, but yeah, we'll leave it there. Alright everyone, so we will leave it there. I hope you enjoyed that. Like I say, I know it was kind of, I guess, uneventful. We weren't really doing many quests, but I feel like that's good for a little intro, just to kind of ease in gently. Um, and it's nice for me as well to get my bearings back again with the game, as much as I've played it so many times now. It has been a while since the last time so it's really nice though to be back playing it again i'm just feeling so happy and i'm just so excited to be doing this and yeah it's going to be a lot of fun it's going to be a wild ride <laughs> just want to say as well if you did enjoy this video and you have enjoyed my previous videos um please do feel free to subscribe it would be lovely to have you you're more than welcome also if you want to leave a comment share your opinion your thoughts um, just anything. I'd be so buzzing to read that. I love reading comments and having conversations with everybody. Yeah, so I guess I'll leave it there for now. I'm also currently playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition, so if that's something that you're into, uh, please feel free to check that out. I'm also playing Life is Strange True Colors, um, and I'm finishing up Call of the Sea 
version as well. So all amazing games. There will be one Witcher episode a week initially. I may go up to two depending on my free time and whatnot. We'll see how it goes. Um, but I am under no illusion that it's a very, very long ass <laughs> game. Aye, I think that's everything. So until next time, take care. Bye bye.